Спасибо большое, доктор Галако, for the beautiful talk. It really uh, you set the stage. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say this is a work of our collective partners. This is I, I'm presenting a story of all of us, and there's some people, very important people, who I want to acknowledge. Daniel, who organized this whole thing. I want to acknowledge my mentor, Nabil Basil from the Social Intervention Group and the Global Health Center for Central Asia. Uh, we've been working together for 25 years to really tackle the co-occurring problems of intimate partner violence, HIV, and substance use. My dear colleague is Sal Terlek Baeva, who has been with me for 15 years, also addressing this in the region. And I really want to have our partners who implemented Wings to stand up from Asteria, Padruga, Chance, Socium, Plus Center, Positive Dialogue, and our newest partner from India, um, Alliance India. Please stand up. And I just want to give a round of applause. Everybody, come on. No, everybody stand up. Come on. Where's Socium? Where's you guys are not? Stand up, stand up. Asteria, please. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an amazing thing to have us all together. It really, really is. So today, quickly in this talk, I'm going to try to talk about the retrospective of the evidence base of where WINGS has come from, some of the current challenges and opportunities that we're facing, and as I said before, how do we move forward to try to make this sustainable? The, as we know, there are many you know, effective pilot trials, and then they go flat. And, uh, for four years of all of Open Society's foundation into this project, we really want to try to see how we can move this forward. Um, and we, need, we have all the hearts and minds at this table that can do this. So um, in terms of the mission of WINGS, uh, that um, just to go over this, uh, WINGS addresses gender-based violence among the broader population of women who use drugs through a strengths-based brief intervention that may be delivered in low resource settings or by a computerized self-paced tool, which we haven't done in this region, but we're using in New York. Uh, WINGS aims to raise awareness about the epidemic of gender-based violence and who use among women who use drugs and mobilize unity stakeholders to advocate for policies and programs that will really address gender-based violence and the other syndemic problems of HIV substance use, misuse, and trauma. So, um, as Dr. Galaco said, in the U.S., we also have only one in ten women who, are, who need drug treatment that access it. So the broader population of women who use drugs are not getting treatment. And, um, and even less than one in ten, only about six percent of the women who use drugs and are experiencing gender-based violence ever get any gender-based violence services. So the whole mission of WINGS was how do we get that to that broader population of women who are using drugs and at risk of gender-based violence and link them to the treatment and services. So um, the mission of WINGS is really to reach that. And where do we find those folks? And again, we can really broaden our reach. There's, in, in the U.S., we've really focused on the criminal justice system, uh, the, the um, emergency primary care, uh, harm reduction outreach programs, uh, child welfare services, and HIV SD prevention and care. So I think Dr. Lacko gave a really beautiful um, overview of, uh, if in, in the, um, of, I think you're, you're behind, <laughs> so, uh, of, of the syndemic, um, and how gender-based violence is so connected to HIV. We know that gender-based violence re results in um, higher risk HIV um, uh, and, and also um, poor HIV treatment outcomes, lower access to HIV testing, treatment and care, poor retention and poor viral load su suppression. We see this in studies across the states. And then also gender-based violence is also uh, it really related to drug use. It, they, they go back and forth. People use drugs to cope with all the pain from the gender-based violence, and the, the drug-using life also with partners also contributes. So there's a really syndemic interaction. And in 2015, UNO and DC came out with a full document recognizing this. We all know there are nine core components of harm reduction programs. They say we need an additional component of really addressing gender-based violence for women. However, to date, 
we really don't have those programs developed. And I think WINGS can really serve as that night, that additional component for women to really tackle these issues. So what in, on the far right, what we can see is there, it's a brief intervention just to identify gender-based violence, raise awareness, give them safety planning, and link them to services. And then we can also do that along with HIV counseling, testing, drug and alcohol misuse, and um, screening tools, and then link them to extended interventions. Now, the other really powerful piece of WINGS is it collects data on different types of intimate partner violence and gender-based violence in an electronic screening tool. And so the biggest issue that we face in, in these key affected populations is no one knows about the extent of the epidemic. We hear anecdotal stories, but what is it's begun to document in terms of numbers, the type, the severity of the, the, the levels of violence. And you'll hear from Pemo and other from, from uh, Wings here, just the level is off the map, off the Richter scale. And so um, without that data, we, we can go back to policy, to, to really try to go back to um, advocates and government and policyholders and say, we really need to do something about that. And then here we go, really forming policies, community mobilization strategies to raise awareness. Because we can't just fight this epidemic at an individual level. We need to go higher. Um, so just briefly in terms of the timeline of WINGS, uh, we first developed it in the states, uh, and we integrated, we had two different interventions. One's we integrated into a behavioral live, uh, HIV intervention for women, which is a four-session group-based intervention called WORTH. And then we also did it independently. Uh, just, uh, it, we did it, we created, as I mentioned, a traditional model of the screening-based uh, uh, referral to treatment model, as, as uh, Dr. Galaco described. But then we created a computerized self-paced version uh, that went through the exact same components. Uh, and then in uh, 2013, we got generous funding from the um, Open Society Foundation, which we've been continuing. And um, it's in, in 2016, we uh, started in, in Ponk in, in India, which has been very exciting. Uh, and we are also now integrating WINGS into the continuum of HIV prevention, testing, uh, treatment services in a drug treatment program in the United States. So there are many ways that we can take that WINGS module and just what I want you to do is to try to think in your own context and sitting, settings how this can be used. Um, so this is just the original WINGS model in, in New York, which we found to be, um, the, the aims was, as I mentioned, was just to develop and test a computerized model, um, and then just to uh, test it in a randomized control trial, the effectiveness of it. Um, and so we did, a, we enrolled 191 women, as I mentioned, from the criminal justice system. We randomized women to, ever, to receive either the computerized tool, self-paced tool, or they got the, um, uh, traditional model, the screening brief intervention referral to treat model mop of WINGS. And then we followed them up at three months with the 90% retention rates. So we found extremely high rates of, of intimate partner violence in the prior year. And it was identical using this computerized tool versus the in-person intervention, 47% for both uh, conditions. And so the outcomes of the trial really suggested the feasibility, safety, acceptability and effectiveness of both modalities. We saw they both improved in terms of linking women to IPV services, increasing um, social support for intimate partner violence, e increasing IPV self-efficacy, uh, and um, reducing drug use. It also was effective in reducing drug use. Again, if you tackle that gender-based violence, you can have uh, multiple effects on both drug use and HIV. So we found there, were, there was no difference between the conditions. They were equally effective. Um, and then what we did is we actually did a randomized control trial of another version of WINGS where we, as I mentioned, integrated it into a behavioral intervention called WORTH, a group-based intervention. And, and we had, again, a computerized version of it where, and then the traditional model, and then we had a wellness promotion model. And what we found is um, that the computerized self-paced module with WINGS did significantly better in reducing all types of IPV at the 12-month follow-up 
than the wellness promotion control. We actually didn't find that in the traditional uh, worth that had the traditional wings and, and the wellness promotion. So there's some evidence there that maybe the computerized self-paced version worked better. Um, and that was hard outcomes of actual IPV. So um, you, I think you've, many of you have seen the, the WINGS data from the, the first year. Uh, we evaluated WINGS with HIV counseling testing. And this WINGS in Kyrgyzstan really, uh, uh, the model was great in terms of adapted integrated HIV counseling testing, number one. And it also integrated gender-based violence. So the WINGS in New York, we only looked for, at intimate partner violence. And the issue is that women who use drugs experience violence not only from their partners, but from their pimps, from the policemen, from, you know, people in their families. Uh, so it, it, this is really important addition to WINGS and also integrating it into HIV counseling. So we ad adapted the WINGS to the local context and, and we actually added a second session. We also integrated overdose into it, which, and we found extremely high rates of gender-based violence uh, and intimate partner violence in the past year. And I think you can see here it was about 80% in the past year. These, if you look at any uh, uh, gender-based violence statistics among the general population of women across, these are about 10 times higher. It's really, 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 really high. Um, so, and at the three-month follow-up, we actually had uh, very participants experienced 59% fewer physical uh, intimate partner violence incidents in the prior 90 days. 27% fewer physical gender-based violence incidents. We didn't see any effect on sexual um, or uh, abuse. And I think there are ways that we have strengthened the intervention to do sexual safety planning uh, and tweaked it to really address for sex, which we know is a, a huge issue. Um, the, the other huge outcome that we were very proud of is that almost 90% completed HIV counseling testing as a result of going through rings and really having a gender-specific approach towards HIV counseling and testing. Um, okay. So a summary of the findings. Taken together, the, the, I think the findings from these three studies on WING suggest that both the traditional and the computerized modalities are effective, that the WINGS um, integrated into a continuum of HIV testing and behavioral interventions to reduce both IPV and HIV risks, as well as drug use and increasing HIV testing and linkage to treatment and care. And it may be adapted to address other forms of violence. Um, and so I think the key questions for us moving forward, and this is what I really want us to think about, and we'll break down in groups later on to really discuss this, small groups. So how can WINGS be integrated into a continuum of HIV services, including prevention, testing, linkage to, and retention in HIV treatment and care? What are the major challenges and barriers to implementing and scaling up WINGS in NGOs or government agencies? What are the strategies or solutions to overcoming these barriers? What are funding opportunities for continuing implementing WINGS? And how can NGOs and key stakeholders work together to form a community response to advocate for anti-gender-based violence policies and programs for women who use drugs, women who engage in sex work, the LGBTQ community, um, and other key affected populations. And what are the challenges to forming this community response? We have to work together because we can't, if we can get everybody, all the key players in this room to really form a network to push it forward, I think, you know, I'm confident that we can be successful. So um, some of the future directions that we're thinking about for WINGS is um, building a network of key stakeholders for implementing WINGS in harm reduction settings globally and um, really trying to get WINGS as part of the gender prevention services that, to be considered as a core element of harm reduction in, according to UNODC and WHO to ad 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 advance a mobile uh, friendly version of, of WINGS uh, translate into different languages. We've, we've actually programmed it now for the smartphone, as you know, you can anybody do. So it really expands the bandwidth of who we can get to with WINGS. Uh, adapt it for other populations, as Daniel was mentioning, uh, sex workers, transgender women, migrant women, adolescent girls, women, MSM, uh, and we can keep go on and probably on 
to integrate wings into the continuum of HIV services and substance abuse treatment of that, um, interventions. I do want to just briefly highlight we have a, a website with all of the wings articles, wings implementation, including that. If you want to take a look at the computerized self-paced version, you can access it through this um, sig.columbia.edu wings. And this is our vision. Let's go and find those nine and ten women who are experiencing gender-based violence and try to link them to all types of services and really tackle the co-occurring epidemics of gender-based violence, HIV, and substance use, and really collect that data on gender-based violence so that we can go back to the policymakers and advocates to really and mobilize the community against this. Um, that's it. Thank you.